Hello and welcome to my garden. Today's a lovely April day and I feel I should probably uh, begin to do some of the chores or some of the tasks I need to do in the garden. I'm a little behind this year because it's been cold. Uh, last year I was, as far as I am now, already a month ago. But that's okay. You know, it shouldn't be something that you are well, that you feel guilty about. It should be something that you willingly do, and I willingly do it, although uh, I do prefer it when the weather is nice, and it's really nice today. So I'll take you around uh, little corners of my garden and show you some of the projects that I'm gonna try to uh, start today. These are my climbing roses on the pergola. They're getting completely out of control, so I definitely need to prune them. Pruning the roses is one of my projects for today. You can see here, I'm gonna walk under the uh, arbor. That's also getting a little out of control. The flower beds a little sad looking. That's almost inevitable at this point in time because I haven't cut back all the, um, the withered parts yet. Well, I haven't done anything yet, so it's gonna look like this for a while. But first, I'm actually gonna have to replant this thing right here. It becomes part of my outdoor tasks as well because I don't really enjoy having that soil all over the place inside the house. So I think I'm going to do that first. Two of the other projects I definitely need to uh, start today is pruning the roses and fertilizing uh, some of the box hedges and box plants that I have because otherwise they, they look a little yellow. So this is what the replanted plants look like now. This one is a little bigger, but that doesn't matter. This one will catch up. I'm not even sure what the name is of this plant in English or in Danish for that matter. All right, first project done. Okay, so the next project is pruning the roses. And for that, I need a little equipment. I need protective gloves. And I need, of course, secateurs these were bought in England. I think what I might do is show you before and after pictures because otherwise it's going to take too long. This is Stanwell Perpetual uh, and it's the first rose that blooms usually. It's a wild rose. The next one is Brother Catfell which is an English rose and by the end of the summer the branches will be knocking at the top of the window there so I definitely need to prune them. This one is Karen Blixen. It doesn't smell and I don't really like modern roses but it has huge blooms and is creamy white and it's called Karen Blixen so I had to get it. Right here we've got Sharifa Asma and Crocos Rose and over here I forget, Hyde Hall and William Shakespeare and over here other English roses and historical roses. So these will need to be pruned at least a third maybe. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. So about half an hour later, this is what this bit looks like, this tiny flower bed. And this is what I've cut off. I've had to bring out the big guns. Right now it really doesn't look very impressive. In fact, it looks more amputated, like all the roses have simply been beheaded. But that's the way it is right now. Every year come June and July, I think to myself, my God, I should have been more ruthless, more brutal. I should have cut them back more. And every spring I forget how much I should have cut them back and I just can't bring myself to cut them back even further. So this is what it's going to be like now and I really have to go get coffee now before I move on. So having consulted my little weather app, which any conscientious gardener must do, I can see that there is no rain in the coming week, which means I have to take the, the little bottle fertilizer thing there because the other one is supposed to be sort of strewn around the plants right before rain. So let me take that one. So this one is in the sun quite a lot, which means I have to give it plenty of water. I watered all the box plants yesterday, but forgot to put in the fertilizer. And plants really can't live off of water alone, like the rest of us. They need 
need something to nourish them. This one is probably beyond saving. But I'll give it a shot. This one too. I think part of the problem is that the frost in the winter kills off some of the plants. At least the box plants. They're not very hardy. I hope this one, the cone, is going to survive because I quite like it and it was pretty expensive too. That's the first bucket full. I'm going to be watering the little hedge here as well because as you can see here um, it's going to turn a little too yellow otherwise and the little new shoots are coming now and I want them to look nice. Whoop, a dandelion there. Well, that's another job for another day. Okay, so since I last recorded, my microphone has actually broken. Such is the hazard of trying to record outside. Which means I'll wrap up the video with a voiceover, but okay. So here are little box plants that I gave fertilizer. And I think I bought them when they were maybe a little bigger than my fist. And uh, they're maybe 10 years old. So it does pay off to use fertilizer. And these flower beds are looking really sad and not very verdant yet, but that'll change in a month or two. But the, the box plants here in the corners uh, literally form cornerstones. And it's really nice to have evergreen plants during the winter, which is also one of the reasons why I try to take good care of my box plants, especially the ones that are already planted in the flower beds. Something else that I really appreciate about this time of year is that the hawthorn is in bloom. The one right behind our house, as you can see here, is just beautiful and white. And it carries the smell over to our bedroom window, which is right over here. And I just appreciate that so much. I don't know if you can hear it, but there are bees everywhere here. Here's our trusty cat, obviously. Hi, Venus. I think I'll leave you now oops <laughs> and i'll see you soon hopefully i'll show you another update of the garden maybe in a few weeks time when it when it all looks a little more colorful and interesting Hi.